So you want to look like the burnt peanut and you're trying to add face insets in Lens Studio. I'm going to show you my tips on how to get them looking really good um, as you can see right now. So first things first is the lighting. It's never going to look good without good lighting, folks. And you can tell he has good lighting. So make sure your face is well lit. Mine is not lit amazingly well. I have like a desk lamp on this side and then, you know, shadow on that side. It's not great. So if I turn this way, it doesn't look as good. But if I turn that way, it looks great, right? You, you want a more consistent, even more consistent than this lighting. Okay. The next step, we got to edit our user before we actually send it into the face inset. So if you go to a face inset, it has a, a source texture. I made my own render target source user. Okay. It's just a new render target, new camera, render order zero, new layer. And then we put on the face retouch, but we turn off ML mode and we turn off auto mode. We turn off soft skin and we just have teeth whitening, eye sharpening and eye whitening. Okay. One, 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 one for all the values is a good starting point. Play with them as you wish. I will say fair warning, the teeth whitening, if you turn it up really high, it makes your tongue white, which just looks stupid. So maybe avoid doing that. But the rest, you know, if you want your eyes to be like really white, like a some monster from the Game of Thrones or whatever, you know, you can do that. Anyway, oops. Next step is the color correction. Yeah, you can make your own color correction with a lookup table. It's just a post effect. Um, I'm using one from the asset library. So you got asset library here. Type in color adjust. Scroll down and find the one from Vivek. It's pretty good. Uh, has a lot of features, really great tool that he, ad he uh, added to the asset library for everybody. And you can come into this material and just play around with the saturation and hue and everything. Like if you want to change the colors, you can do that. Uh, if you're trying to make like a Wicked Witch or whatever, you can go, you know, green, wherever green is. There you go. Um, I turned up the saturation a tiny bit and I turned up the contrast and I turned up the brightness. I left everything else alone. But if you, you know, you wanted somebody that's like more washed out like that, you can do that, like, you know, whatever your character needs. The next thing, our main camera is on render order one. So it's zero for the user source, one for the next one. Also, the color adjust is on render order one, and the face retouch is on zero. Otherwise, the color adjust post effect doesn't work. So make sure that's on one. Okay, head binding. I find using face mesh center seems to work the best. Candide center, I think, would also work pretty well. Um, in this case, doesn't seem to work too great. Face mesh center just feels right to me for some reason. Uh, but you can play around with it. I think face mesh center is a good one to start with, though. You know, make sure all your parents are at X0 and Z0. Y is okay. And, you know, it'll mess up a tiny bit going, you know, nodding. But it's not crazy. Um, but try and stay 0, 0, 0 and all these as best as possible. And if you need to move it up a little bit, you can. Like, I think moving up from the Candide Center or from the uh, Face Mesh Center a tiny bit is good. Back to our face inset. So I already told you about the source texture we're using. All of them, I also have a little trick I do all the time. Now, this is a very nice trick, the source scale. So if I turn up the source scale, you can see they like zoom out. <laughs> that looks really silly. Um, you know, one normally would look like this. And you can see it's pretty tight in there. So if, like anytime it, it's not perfect, it will cut into my actual like the blue of my eyes and stuff like that. So I just zoom it out a tiny, tiny bit. So I use 1.1 for my scale. And you can see now there's a little extra padding like around the blue of my eye there. It's very nice. So all of them, even the mouth, is just 1.1 for the source scale. You can zoom out further if you need to or you're trying to do some cool effect. Then after that, all of them have a subdivision count of 99. Next, the inner border radius, outer border radius. Um, those are just set, you know, whatever looks good for you. And then really important is the position. So the left eye and right eye, you might want to have hanging over the edge a little bit like that, but still kind of tight to your model. Otherwise, they're going to look weird. So I still get a little hangover, but they're tight to the model. The mouth though is actually more forwards. So you can see there, I have it at 0.55 um, Z, which means when I go like this, you know, my mouth hangs off a little and you can even make it a little more dramatic. And that gives you like a 3D look. This is gonna work mainly with like spherical shapes because if we have like a box, it's not gonna like hang over as well. But, you know, for a peanut, or like a spherical shape, like this is really good, right? It looks 3D. So 0 0.6 on the Z or whatever Z value, fine, works really good. Play around with the radius to work with your mouth and your lips, 
One thing people get caught up on is the lips. Everyone's lips are different. You know, my top lip is not very strong. And you can see it's easy to lose. Burnt Peanut has some pretty luscious lips. I'm not going to lie. He has really luscious lips. It makes his lips look better. Okay. Straight up, you just might not have the same lips as him. So your lips aren't going to look the same. This applies for every other face feature as well. Um, you know, you can't change that. I mean, you could. You'd have to do a lot of extra tricks. But <laughs> realistically, if you're just doing this setup, you know, you got to be aware that your face is not the same as his. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Hopefully this helps some people. Helps you, uh, you know, really finesse your face insets. Let me try and do a burp peanut pose real quick. I don't, I don't know how he gets rid of his teeth. <laughs> he never seems to have his teeth showing. Um, I, he must just have like a larger lip structure than me. I don't know. But anyway, uh, thank y'all for watching. See y'all in the next Linsu tutorial. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. And if you know how to answer questions, answer some in the comments because I am not always available.